Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be sharing with you some of my favorite, favorite pieces for spring, summer 2023. I am a fan. Let's just say because a lot of my life or a lot of my time actually is spent traveling, I tend to lean towards resort wear. At least I can say 65% of my closet is more resort than casual just because traveling is a lifestyle for me. So without further ado, I'm going to share some of my favorite pieces from Saks.com, some items that I've picked out for this summer and I'm just going to have a whole runway show for you guys and you guys can give me a thumbs up or a thumbs up. Boom. So outfit number one, which is the outfit that I'm wearing right now. I have on this Acne Studio shirt and I love the stretchy elastic material. It's breathable, it's perfect for this year's spring summer just because it has all the colors that we're seeing on the runaway, just in general, we're seeing a lot of colors come back to fashion, which is great. Especially this, there's this like specific tone of orange. It's like tangerine yellow. I don't even, you know what? I would say marigold. It reminds me of the marigold flowers that I saw all over the place in India. It's just so vibrant, so lush, so rich, and just elaborate like incredible breathtaking and you can see that that is mixed into this top right now these pants we're also seeing a lot of cargo pants which is really cool these pants are from redone and they fit really really nicely and my shoes which are going to be the only shoes that i'm wearing on this episode um yeah they are the both Tega Tong sandals in the color tangerine and now I will be moving on to outfit two tell me what you guys think yeah yes I quite like this outfit simple it's casual straight to the point fashionable not too edgy now we're gonna move on to the next thing now See, I would love to wear this for you guys, but because the skirt doesn't quite go up my hips, I'm gonna wear the top for you. So be right back. So here is my next outfit. Of course I can't wear the skirt with this, but ladies and gents, when I tell you the skirt on this piece is so breathtaking, so elegant, so avant-garde it's just a moment it looks like a sculpture like you know what let me let me pick it up and show you guys like if only i could put this on for you guys and show you but it's not gonna go up my head so this is what the top looks like on and you know it's still a beautiful top that you can pair with something else it doesn't necessarily have to go on as a set but i do quite like it a lot very simple it does have this it's a knit top it also has this twisted rope-like detail on the shoulder and yeah i could see myself wearing this somewhere in spain yeah somewhere in spain because that's that's the only place no, where am I going this summer? Probably, I do have to, I still want to do a European summer. I don't think that I have gotten enough of my taste of Europe. So this summer is still for Europe and then we'll figure out when we're going to go back to Asia. But now we're going to move on to the next dress, which I can't wait to try this one on for you guys because I know you're going to lose your mind. So stay tuned. All right, I told you guys that the next dress or the next thing was just going to be epic. Now, this Ferragamo dress is just 
once again for me i would say this is like uh i wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 but it's it's up there um i do love the fact that the top does have this nice bodycon fit the material is very sheer and stretchy which you know it also has like a tropical feel to it so i definitely won't i don't know this isn't something that i don't i could see myself taking with me to europe yeah it's it's something that i probably would wear on the u.s virgin islands like somewhere a bit more tropical the colors here remind me of a peacock like this is the essence of peacocking for me okay this dress is very flamboyant it's very playful i do love the ombre at the bottom like the ombre tone at the bottom where it just kind of like flows from the blue hues okay so i don't know if you guys when you're driving you pay attention to the sky like on a beautiful day when the sun is out and the sky serves as a backdrop to the trees that is what this sort of like reminds me of right here at the bottom such a lovely piece love it let's go salsa and dance 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 and then look at this brooch here it's just okay now we're gonna move on to the next piece by Joanna Johanna Ortiz Stay tuned. All right. So next up, I have this Joanna Ortiz dress. And baby, it is giving, OK? <laughs> it is so stunning on in this Bottega green. I'm just a fan of this color on brown skin, on melanated tones. Hello, and the green and orange combination for me is always a hit. I don't know why, but I did pair this with my zebra print Bottega dupe. Now, I love Joanna Ortiz just because she's Colombian. A lot of her designs are very fun, very playful. She's definitely a go-to for resort wear just because she gets it. She gets it. You know, you can't go wrong with Joanna at all. Now, this dress, so stunning, so, so stunning. It's actually meant to be a maxi dress, but it does stop <laughs> right above my ankle. Well, not right above my ankle, at least like four inches above my ankle. I am 5'9", so, if that gives anyone any context for just like how long this is yeah that's where it stops but i do like the fact that it is a midi on me opposed to um a maxi fit but that is basically it for the joanna ortiz what are we giving this are we giving this a what are we giving her a 10 8 what are we thinking? Now I'm gonna move on to the next look. It's gonna be a bunch of denims coming up, so stay tuned. We have seen a lot of this silhouette being brought back to fashion. To be fair, I don't think it ever left because some of my faves, I'll give you one of my favorite fashion stylists right now or she's been for a while, is London Girl in NYC. And when I tell you her style is just so immaculate, so effortless, and it's so unique, it's so her. And I see a lot of people trying to be London Girl in NYC, and it looks like throw up, so y'all need to stop. Anyway, so <laughs> um, these pants I quite like a lot. They are from awake mode it's definitely given a shake organize a organize. all right and then i paired it with this kate corset top cinched on the waist 
giving it more balance on the outfit, you know, more fun, more playful, very simple, definitely would pair this. I can see myself wearing this to dinner, like a dinner setting, definitely different pair of heels with this and a bit more bling, my ears, neck, and my wrist. So that is it, very simple, classy, effortless, straight to the point, you know? Yeah, so that's that, and we're gonna move on to the next denim item. All right, so if Canadian Tux was ever to have a moment, I think this would be it. However, I do, when I do pair denim with denim, I do like the fact that the shades are identical. So obviously this is a bit lighter than my pants, but I do like the laid back, edgy, loose silhouette that the, this combination put together is given here. Pretty simple, effortless, throw on a pair of sneakers, a hat, and call it a day. Throw on some sunglasses and you're out of the way. I quite like this a lot. What do you guys think of this combo? The combo, we're not talking about the colors and the tones and the hues of the, of the blues here, but the combination of this redone top and the awake mode jeans thumbs up or thumbs up <laughs> okay and now we're gonna move on to the next thing stay tuned so this definitely for me is another amazing denim moment here as you can see it's just very lax very edgy very cool very chic um very fashionable i think and you know i do love this patchwork skirt and i love the fit as well it's given a definitely a line it's flare and um yeah a wave mode just gets it they do denim so 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 well and um, i would actually pair it with this top because at least you can see the variation of blues on this it almost looks like a quilt in a sense but yeah i love this i love it a lot so what do we think of this outfit it's so fun so fun so playful yes sir and i'm gonna try on one more thing and that would be it for today's try on with me I guess that's what I can call it, style with me session. Be right back. And last but not the least, and I will say, I know people usually save the best for last, but I guess I saved the worst for last. I'm so sorry. But this I don't find as flattering as the rest of the stuff that I tried on. However, I do love this skirt a lot. I just think that the size I do have is quite tight on me. I would probably have to get it looser and tailored on the waist side because this waist waist size is perfect but the hips i feel constricted and this ungaro top i do like a lot but i'll probably pair this with some boyfriend jeans some gladiator sandals and you know a pair of sunglasses and keep it simple i'm a very 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 simple person when it comes to my style as an ex-basketball player, I ran track, played volleyball, I'm an ex-athlete and I think a lot of that also sort of like permeated <laughs> into like my dress sense because I just really, I love, I love, 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 love style. I do like trying on clothes. I am definitely a girly girl in that regard, however, Comfort is always key for me when it comes to my dress sense because I have to be able to move around. I don't like feeling like I can't breathe in my clothing. Oh my God. Whew. Without, yeah, 
<laughs> I definitely can't breathe in this skirt. So I'm gonna go now, but thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that you guys did enjoy some of the pieces. I hope that, you know, I have opened your eyes to different ways to style different things and style denim. See you guys in the next episode. Ciao.